So one of the funny things about traveling like this is I've showed up at this nice house. They do have an air mattress that they wanted me to sleep on and I do appreciate that. But my bed here in my van is just so comfortable that I would prefer to sleep in my bed for the couple of nights that I'll be here. I also have all my stuff in here and it's really comfortable and the weather's been perfect. So the low I think was in the 50s last night which within this van and with my sleeping bag, it's been a pretty good uh, experience for me. Today I wanted to give you a tour of my van. I have it set up for a configuration for traveling with three people. I have myself, my cousin, and my uncle with me. And because I have them with me, I've added that middle seat in the back of the van there. And so what I'll do over the next few minutes is go and show you how I have it set up, show you how I've been sleeping over the last few days, and talk to you a little bit about my trip. So the van is configured a little differently than I normally have it. Normally I have this middle seat out and I have the seat behind it up, but because I was traveling with my cousin and my uncle, I wanted to have a more comfortable seat for my cousin and room in the back for a little additional storage. So right now I have additional luggage that I normally wouldn't have with me. I have that suit hanging on the rack back there. I also have an awning that I brought with me so that we can set it up in the yard here. One big disadvantage to this setup is to get into the storage space under my bed, I would need to pull this chair out and I don't have enough stuff that it matters. But as you can see, there's a lot of open space under there that's not being used. If I was going for a longer trip, I'd probably pack some stuff in there. But for this weekend trip, all I really needed was my sleeping configuration and my backpack with several changes of clothes in it. Additionally, the first night of this trip, I went into Harrison, New Jersey, and I picked up my uncle, and I had the van in the city there, and so I was a little worried, hey, maybe it'll get broke into or something like that, but that city is actually really quiet. It's right outside of Newark, and I went back in the morning, and the van was fine, no worries. Having this middle seat that I'm in gives me a little more storage room in the back, but also if I had to, for some reason, pull my bed out or add an additional seat behind me, I can simply pull up my stow and go seats that are behind me. There's three of them and that'll give me a seating capacity of six people. So for this trip, I did decide to go with my steel bed frame with my six inch memory foam mattress. It fits in here perfect. I do have a cot and I contemplated bringing that cot to maybe make it a little easier to expand out if I needed to add room for passengers but I did opt for better comfort. So I brought a full size pillow. I have my narrow twin sheet. Now this, this mattress is a narrow twin mattress, but it is also called an RV mattress, or in some cases it's called a cot mattress. So same thing with the frame, narrow twin, RV, or cot size. Also, because I knew it was gonna be hot here, I brought this really light green military surplus sleeping bag. And even though I know I'm not gonna be going stealth, I brought my window shades because as I'm sleeping at night, I wanna go ahead and close all the windows out, mainly because I just don't want people to see me in my van. Not because of stealth, but more just for that privacy as I'm rolling around, tossing and turning. I know I'm not gonna wake up with someone just peeping in my window, checking me out. So here's my trunk behind that middle seat. And as you can see, it's kind of a mess. I do have my little cook stove and some food in here in case I need to make a meal while I'm out here. I have the suit for the ceremony, my front shade, a pair of shoes, and of course my power stations as usual. So at the rest shop here, I saw a young lady looking really closely at the grass and I walked up to her and said, hey, what are you looking for? And she was looking for four leaf clovers and I looking around I don't see any clovers at all but I guess that she's had luck finding lucky four-leaf clovers at these rest areas so I'm about to go in the fresh ground house here and get a cup of coffee to check that out and see how good it looks inside of it on the second floor is a little art studio and in the art studio they have a bunch of quilts So the Dutch Oven Family Restaurant Italian Cooking Pizza, it's a pretty interesting name for a Italian slash Dutch restaurant. So this Dutch Oven Pizza Restaurant is actually Amish owned and operated, so that's pretty interesting. 
I'm curious to see how good their pizza is. So I'm here in Jamestown, Ohio at the Dutch Oven Pizza Restaurant and behind me is a, a beer drive through So it's like an old garage that they've converted into a beer place. You go in and you can get beer. Coin operated laundromat with plenty of uh, laundry inside of it. And here's your local uh, US Postal Service post office, Jamestown, Ohio. They have the Jamestown Hunger Buster ice cream store. Hey, so it's been three days since I left home. Been staying in the van each night. The temperature has been getting down in the 60s, which is really nice. And we've actually had some really high days up to 90. Today's going to be 90 and I'm enjoying it. And so one thing is I moved into the shade so that I don't know if you guys can see that shade. So that as I as the sun comes up in the morning, it doesn't wake me up. We have been staying up late the last few nights, and I've been trying to sleep in just so I can make sure I stay, you know, comfortable and rested. So a lot of people have asked me what this white thing is up in the grab handle here. This is actually a CO monitor. So this is for if I have maybe a fire occur while I'm sleeping this will go off and let me know. And I do have lithium ion batteries in here. And so I do have a minor, like a, not a minor, but a small concern that I could have an issue with those, with a fire with those. So I also use the CO detector when I am cooking so that it will let me know if I need to crack my windows. When you're using something like a propane stove, like I have, it will actually increase the CO concentration pretty quickly as it's cooking. So you do want to keep your windows closed, even if you don't think it's a lot of, you know, gas coming out. So of course, for this configuration, for this trip, we have a lot of snacks. You know, we don't want to be hungry as we're traveling. I do have the fridge full. The fridge is full of a bunch of drinks. We've been keeping it stocked with water. I don't normally drink this kind of expensive water, but you know, for this trip, it is really convenient and my passengers aren't going to want to be drinking out of my three gallon bottle of water. Normally when I'm on the road, I don't shower a whole lot. And for some people that's like, Hey, that's crazy. You, you know, you're dirty, you're traveling. I don't really get dirty traveling in the sense that I'm not out like running miles or, you know, doing things like that. And I do keep myself clean, but my priority is not like, Hey, where's my next shower? How am I going to make it to my next shower and stay, you know, sanitary. The way I offset some of that is I make sure I stop and I brush my teeth. I do try to brush my teeth in a discreet manner because I don't want to be in a parking lot at like a gas station, you know, spitting out my water next to some family, you know, getting drinks or something at the gas station. And then don't forget everybody's best friend, the baby wipes. Baby wipes aren't necessarily good for the environment, but if you're only using one or two of them to hit the hard to reach places, that'll help keep you clean where you need to be. One thing I didn't bring on this trip that I probably should have brought was some sunscreen. And the issue with that is I have been getting redder and redder over the last few days. I think I'm going to get a little bit of a burn between now and when I make it home late on Monday night. So if you are curious, this is as far back as this middle seat goes. And this is also as far back as this front seat goes. So we have about 20, maybe 24 inches of, seat, of leg room with that middle seat there. So it's, it's comfortable enough. I mean, I have actually, I feel like plenty of leg room to relax. Got plenty of drinks loaded up in the fridge for the trip. I am parked in the shade under this tree right here. And one disadvantage to having that set up is that my solar panel, which is attached to my roof, is not getting any sun right now and so what that's going to cause is my battery is going to start to lose power and i do have a second battery that is fully charged ready to use so keep that in mind if you are using a solar panel fixed to your roof it's going to cause you to have to balance your power output versus the comfort of being in the shade and on a day like today where it's 90 degrees parking my van in the sun can increase the temperature pretty significantly so the goal for me with traveling in the van is to be as simple as possible. I don't want anything that's going to be permanent. 
I don't want anything that I'm going to have to, you know, unscrew stuff, unbolt stuff to remove. I just want to be able to put my bed in, my fridge in, my solar panel, and maybe a chair or two. But my next trip coming up, I will need the seats back in there. And so as I get home towards the middle of this week, I'm going to convert it back into a passenger carrying van. I wanted to take a few seconds to thank the almost 1,000 subscribers. Pro probably by the time this video is published, I will have over 1,000 subscribers. And it's people like you that watch my videos. They're just so crazy. Like who's gonna watch a video about someone's minivan? Thank you for that. Make sure you give this a thumbs up. Click subscribe if you haven't already. I'm about to go in, get showered up and get my suit on so I can go to this wedding. So the ceremony was pretty good. I had my suit on and my hat, but for some reason I forgot my undershirt. So I wanted to leave my jacket on so that it didn't look like I was sweating a whole lot. One thing I like about these rest areas here in Pennsylvania is there are probably about 20 picnic tables behind me in this little area. So you could stop here and have lunch and enjoy yourself and that'd be pretty nice. It's been a pretty long weekend. Had a lot of fun at the wedding last night and I'm on my way back to New York, back to my home.